Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Timberline Neck Angel. It's a Swiss Bianco design and there was a question uh, how to resharpen the laminated construction knife. Uh, one side, the, the black side is a G10 glass fiber laminate, the other side, the silver side is a 440C stainless steel. So how to resharpen this knife? There is a lot of different ways. Basically it's not different than any other knife you sharpen. You uh, will uh, just sharpen uh, both sides of the of the knife, not only one. The the G10 you gonna you gonna sharpen away sooner or later uh, a bit uh, too. So that is not much of of a of a problem. It's just uh, the way how that that knife is designed. So uh, that that uh, I gonna show today. In this video how that could be done. Now for resharpening this knife I basically use the Timberline sharpeners. The, they use the Gatco brand name for their uh, sharpeners. Timberline is for knives, Gatco is for the sharpeners. So you can start even with a, with a device like this where you have different uh, grit of uh, stones and just uh, sharpen it flat, the flat way as with any any other of your knives you do. It uh, pretty much depends on how you are used to resharpen, on what kind of equipment you have and uh, of course uh, the, the skill set. So, so as I say there is no difference to sharpen this knife to, to any any other knife. Now for in the field I could use those uh, two, two sharpeners. One is uh, diamond coated and uh, the other is ceramic too. That is basically for touch up only. Uh, also made by Gatco. Those uh, sharpeners will, with the serrations will also uh, sharpen uh, darts and fish hooks round things there is different different uh, round edges around it that will also work for the serrations on on uh, knives the, the neck angel currently doesn't come with a in a serrated uh, version but uh, that would work too or you just uh, use the flat surface on those what i uh, don't like too much on uh, the the neck angel kind of kind of style is the the pull through sharpener style that comes in different variations from a uh, gat too while they they work for other styles of of uh, knives pretty well uh, i would not recommend them on the on the neck angel because uh, the the angle of the that, that setup of the angle, I will uh, point out that a bit uh, later. Uh, so, so this I would not use on other blades that works, but uh, on the on the neck angel uh, I would not uh, use those those kind of kind of devices. What they uh, always work is a uh, flat stones, diamond stones like this one as a sample. So uh, it depends on how how your skill set is. Uh, those flat uh, smaller stones need a bit more skill set than uh, say the the big uh, stable one but uh, it works and uh, what is most easy most uh, common is uh, the clamp system uh, it comes uh, as a sample in here we see uh, in different different stones we have here with the with the clamp you know the knife will clamp in between I'm gonna show that in a minute on the top is the instructions uh, there are many different companies uh, offer those clamp systems I only use the, the Gatco ones because uh, they offer some advantages in the in the system the, the stones are bigger that's a 
another version of this of this system and uh, also the diamond ones the diamond uh, coated ones that is for a uh, faster resharpening the these systems allow easier resharpening it's a, a wider uh, diamond it's a better handle to hold so i i prefer this over over uh, the other brands that uh, make such uh, devices and each one is in a nice uh, plastic box with uh, with the instruction on it and there is also videos on a uh, on uh, the Timberline website, Gatco Timberline website, and uh, I think I did uh, upload those instruction videos too, how to use the, the those sharpeners uh, on my uh, Swiss Bianco YouTube channel. Now, what I use, just personal me, is that set here. I have two of those sets. That is a uh, one is in the car and one one is uh, at the house. It uh, is a bit uh, dress up from the from the factory. Uh, some of the of the smaller the smaller uh, sharpeners uh, fit in there too. I just took them out to uh, to show. So basically, that's a compact uh, system that you can buy. You see the the it has webbing so you can mount it even on a on a molly pack if you if you uh, want i just use it for for additional uh, carry on so what we have here and again this is customized you you get the uh, you can buy the standard version from the from the timberline gatco uh, website uh, basically i have a, a honing stone arkansas Arkansas, Arkansas as we say in Switzerland. So that's that's nice to have. Then some paperwork I put in that part here, that part, and then we have the stones. Yeah. So basically now it's it's empty. It comes with a nice uh, two-side uh, zipper pull. If you have kids, you can even uh, lock it up with a little with a little uh, padlock if if you want, no problem. So basically the the kit come like this. Now we gonna assemble the the clamp first. Basically, it comes together like this. It's it's a simple. That screw goes in there, and this one will adjust on top. Now we're gonna clamp the neck angel knife. I have to reach a bit around the camera. That's that's why it looks a bit uh, awkward. Basically what we will end up is like this, the, the knife is secure, uh, clamped, uh, from the side it looks like that, so basically first you, you adjust it with this screw that it clamps and this screw here, you put the tension as that goes up, it uh, gives more tension on front, you know, that, that the whole uh, blade uh, clamps, it's needed that this, this uh, sharp edge will uh, be clamped well and then we see the different the different uh, variations of the of the angle you know and this on both sides there is even the, the address in case you uh, have a problem it's a sturdy aluminum construction I never had a, had a problem so then we have in this kit two, two stones it uh, says on it this one is medium that one is coarse uh, the, the knife is in a pretty good condition so I'm gonna gonna use the medium one they uh, offer replacement stones uh, diamond stones you can get to it's uh, it's basically I just grabbed that one quick 
it's basically the same stone as we have uh, here is diamond you know with with the rod that goes in and out right so so this one is the same the same uh, system you can pull that out or slide it in so if if you really want to want to have a diamond you just get the replacement uh, diamond part and switch the rods or uh, bend it you know it's it's easy it's really easy now some use uh, oil to resharpen i uh, let's see honing oil it comes from the factory in the box uh, myself i don't use a uh, honing oil first if you ever use a uh, uh, oil on a on a stone you you have to stick with oil if you run out of oil then you have a problem so what i use mainly is water Water as a as a fluid. Uh, water is ready available. Uh, it's it's uh, not a mess. You can easily clean that up. And uh, if you ever are in need to use oil or really really want to, you can still use the oil because the the water will dry up and and it will uh, look like this uh, stone. No problem with that. So I basically use uh, water. I'm not gonna use it uh, on this video, otherwise we have a, a mess on the on the table. So that video here just give you an idea how that uh, will look, how I would uh, resharpen it. Now I pull out in about this style the the uh, the guide rod. Now the only thing, if you are unsure about the angle, you I suggest you use a, a marker. You use a marker, brand doesn't matter. I like the US Sharpie. So you basically make make a bit something like that on the on the edge where you actually wanna wanna resharpen because that way you see where you actually sharpen. Many people that don't sharpen that much they they have a hard time oh where where I did actually sharpen the blade and where not so now next step is we need to look to figure out which I just go say by the 19 which angle will fit on the on the blade huh? so I need to quick look myself where we on this one where we have that we need the 22 yes Yes, 22 is uh, the correct one on this one. Now remember, the, as that comes from the factory, it's uh, sharpened by hand. So, so there may be 99% always is a difference between the 22, the, 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 angle, the angle on, the, on the, the marking here and the actual angle on the knife. So don't worry about that, you just uh, select the angle that, that uh, I have a bit to reach around the camera, that angle that uh, fits the best. As you look over it, that, that it fits the best on the, on the blade and the excess of the blade first time you sharpen away. So the next time you sharpen the knife, you remember, you can even write it down like in a little booklet, uh, the knife and the, the 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 sharpening angle, so you remember, and uh, put the, the booklet to the to the sharpening kit if you want. Then then you remember which which uh, one it is. So usually the stone would be get uh, wet or uh, with an oil, you know, water or oil, and then basically you can hold the device like this and just just. I have to look in the camera, yeah. Just do like this and sharpen sharpen the, the knife. This can be done faster. So let me show how I basically you hold it like this. For people that are concerned about holding it, there is even a uh, nice grip available from Gatco Timberline 
that looks like this this one here so it has the screws you can uh, even mount it solid with screws on the on the table if you want uh, basically the it slides in here and then you hold the lower side like that and then yeah I need to do it like that then you you hold it like that and you can you can sharpen of course it can uh, work that way too it depends on on uh, on uh, how you how you hold it like this would be correct for now I uh, don't use that that much I still have it uh, some sometimes uh, it's it's better maybe uh, if I have more to sharpen usually I just hold the, the item uh, the sharpener like that but uh, be careful it's a sharp blade so resharpening is always a bit you need to you can't do that while you watch uh, TV you need to to focus on what you do right so I usually hold it just like that but that's that's just me then you start do like that and now we see I clean it quick now we see on the edge we need to go to 25 I hope, yeah the camera see it now now the the lower part and the upper part we have a bit too too uh, two grinding lines now I go to the, to the 25 I do quick a bit grinding there yes that is a uh, better that is better that is the first time you need to to look where you come now you see the the blue part is getting less and less and the other one is is a uh, bigger and bigger now uh, this this knife is a uh, in a pretty good shape so I'm not gonna sharpen all the way down of it but right now you would just uh, first time it always needs needs a bit time you just resharpen the whole edge you start you you can start uh, in the very on the left side and go all the way forward like this let me go yeah like this forward until so you reach from very end to the very point that's that's really important of course it gets uh, a bit dusty you need to uh, clean that up and like this you're gonna you're gonna resharpen it uh, if I would would uh, resharpen that blade I would start with the coarse first because it gets gets a long time the same you do on the back side and then with the, with the Arkansas, Arkansas stone you, you uh, remove the burr to take out the blade you open the screw of the clamp and then you have the, the knife uh, resharpened so you see it's really uh, easy to do needs a bit of time and know-how but uh, it's really easy to do no worries about the laminated construction, it resharpens like any other knife as well.